Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultimate Java. In this video, we will see about Executor, what is the Executor framework? An object that executes submitted writable tasks. This interface provides a way of decoupling task submission from the mechanics of how each task will be run, including details of thread use, scheduling, etc. An executor is normally used instead of explicitly creating threads, for example, rather than invoking. Here is an old and new way to create an object. What is the executor's class? Factory and utility methods for executor, executor service, schedule executor service, thread factory, and callable classes defined in this package. This class supports the following kinds of methods. Methods that create and return an executor service set up with commonly useful configuration settings. Methods that create and return the schedule executor service set up with commonly useful configuration settings. Methods that create and return a wrapped executor service that disables reconfiguration by making implementation specific methods inaccessible. Methods that create and return a thread factory that sets newly created threads to a known state. Methods that create and return a callable out of other closure-like forms, so they can be used in execution methods requiring callable. What is executor service? An executor that provides methods to manage termination and methods that can produce a future for tracking the progress of one or more asynchronous tasks. An executor service can be shut down, which will cause it to reject new tasks. Two different methods are providing for shutting down an executor service. The shutdown method will allow previously submitted tasks to execute before terminating, while the shutdown now method prevents waiting for tasks from starting and attempts to stop currently executing tasks. Upon termination, an executor has no tasks actively executing, no tasks awaiting execution and no new tasks can be submitted. Method submit extends base method executor dot execute runnable by creating and returning a future that can be used to cancel execution and or wait for completion. Methods invoke any and invoke all perform the most commonly useful forms of bulk execution, executing a collection of tasks and then waiting for at least one or all to complete. Class executor completion service can be used to write customized variants of these methods. The executor's class provides factory methods for the executor services providing in the concurrent package. Let's implement. Let's create a new package and package name should end with the executor. Let's main class to test executor. First, create a class and add basic code. Now instead of thread class, we will use executor service. In executor's class, there is a method called new fixed thread pool so there you can put the value like how many threads you want. I am keeping 5. So 5 threads will create by executor service. So like start method here execute method is there. Once execution completes shut down executor service. Add some basic conditions just to make sure that threads are still running or not. It's very simple.
It's working but because of this message the other message hides. Remove this message and run again. See it's working fine. Now let's try some other method like cache thread pool saw no need to pass any number. See it's working fine. Now try some other method like single threaded executor. It's working so only one thread is executing the complete loop. Now try some other method like work stealing the pool. it's working fine, observe the output thread name is coming different. Now try some other method like schedule thread pool, here also need to pass some number. See it's working fine. Now try some other method like single threaded schedule executor. See it's working fine. Let's read about new fixed thread pool. Creates a thread pool that reuses a fixed number of threads operating off a shared unbounded queue. At any point, at most threads will be active processing task. If additional tasks are submitted when all threads are active, they will wait in the queue until a thread is available. If any thread terminates due to a failure during execution prior to the shutdown, a new one will take its place if needed to execute subsequent tasks. The threads in the pool will exist until it is explicitly shut down. Same way you can read about other methods also. Let's review whatever we added. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.